everybody out there in skate world just want to show you guys our progress and what we're up to i got a bunch of ramps to set up got the horseshoe going the ramp's coming along man um lots of people have been coming out and skating and having a good time we all know this ramp well the 6 8 32 foot wide and then up top i'm adding a horseshoe ramp up top i'm gonna ball those corners in and put a roll in it's gonna come over here to this vert ramp you see we've got more quarters got more decks all of this was donated by the block skate shop over in downtown jacks everybody knows mike peterson and and that crew and by uh martin and Lori ramos over at kona um everybody's been so kind man but again this was donated so it's it's all old the old skate lab ramp but we're bringing it back to life you can see you know where uh the old ply was at yeah i flipped him over i know the crown deal i'm not stupid but gotta do what you gotta do with what you got so this is this is what we got it's a uh, 12 by 40 and I need some help I need help I uh, started putting this thing together and I had the money to finish it and instead I bought a 68 Chevelle thinking that I could throw a couple parts on it and you know make an extra grand or two and and uh, get, you know get this thing done and the you know the connection piece in between here we're going to build a little mini mega um the dream is to, of course to finish this thing but to bowl that end in and then come across to a mini mega over here to the six and of course that rolling will come off of the the horseshoe right here so it'll connect as well so this will be a pitch hip that'll be a bowl right here and then that section back there will be like an eight and ten section with the doorway some extensions bunch of pool copings you know it's cool fun stuff um we even built an outhouse and a bonfire pit and a storm bunker back out back for the hurricane but anyway um got ripped off for the chevelle lost 9600 bucks recouped um and and then we you know got back to roof and got back got, got some more money up and then loaned money to friends because you know they need money for christmas and you know they got kids and anyway my friends ripped me off for 5400 more dollars so i'm down shit at even 15,000 holy crap i didn't even think about that i'm down at even 15,000 guys and this is how much wood i got left I've got these posts no concrete no nails no screws no surface nothing i got about 1500 dollars investments and in investments that i could probably take out but uh, I think that would be stupid because it's going to be worth 10 times that at the end of the year. Anyway, we've got all these ramps as well. I need to get all this stuff put together and get it surfaced with lights. I need to, jeez, man, I need to raise like 40 grand just for the surface. But anyway, this ramp's good to go. We're probably going to go ahead and, and put the, uh, the masonite on it. Get all the masonite. It's ready to roll. We've only got like one two more spots up in the roof that need to be sealed i probably got i don't know a thousand bucks up top trying to seal this stupid thing i could have snatched the metal off of it and redid it hey guys what's up yeah this up here is going to be an apartment over there where the kids are hanging out i'm going to put a hot water heater a shower and toilet and then some murphy beds a big window right here with a drop down movie screen all this will be insulated and sheet rock of course plywood at the bottom so the boards don't beat it up and then this down here is going to be a little schoolroom for the kids when they get off the bus they can come out of course i haven't put a door in it yet but i'm going to put two three little computers in here with some windows okay so sorry about that i got cut off man my my, my junky old phone won't hold too much video but anyway this is going to be a couple of windows we're gonna put some uh, computers here for the kids when they get off the bus and come down the dirt road here and get their homework done. And then I'm gonna do some lessons and whatnot. You know, teach some of the kids how to kick, turn, do rock fakies and whatnot. <laughs> anyway, this is my neighborhood, you guys. This is where I live. That used to be a meth house. We got rid of them um, times two. And then there was a hooker house back there, man. We got rid of them. Um, 
it's a it's not a rough neighborhood but it's damn sure a poor neighborhood we left a, a three and a half million dollar pool company to come up here and live on this dirt road because Kona Skateboard Park um, you know we, I've, I've loved Kona since forever um, still do just disagree with management but uh love them as friends but just anyway moved away anyway grew up I guess so I'm out here trying to do a, a, a decent thing I'm trying to give back to my community that I've obviously taken from because the feds kept putting me in freaking prison for weed forever um, I'm done with all that and I just want to bring the bring a little bit of I don't know the joy and the culture that skateboarding has has given me to this dirt road out here before we moved here um, man it, it was insane man the neighbors have told me over and over and over you know thank you so much for building that you're doing a great thing for Christmas the dude rolled up an ice cream truck and gave us 150 bucks and was like here 50 bucks for the table 100 bucks for the ramps but um you know it doesn't look like much right now but it could be a real gem for us out here in Clay County we're 45 minutes an hour from the beach so there's a lot of you know a lot of the surf and skate community from the beaches comes out you know and they help beat nails and and uh we all get to skate it and enjoy it and we're going to be doing some events to recoup to recoup uh some of the money that's you know the money that's going into all this but anyway you guys know me i i don't have no gigantic i don't have no great corporate job um it's it, i'm just a regular dude man so anyway reason i'm putting together a video obviously is because i'm gonna ask for some help i don't like doing it it's i don't it's embarrassing as fuck but whatever man whatever i gotta do to get this done because i'm not i'm not gonna quit i can't i'm not gonna stop um and bad guys are offering to help <laughs> and i'm just not gonna do that anymore uh i i I started to jump down that road and I got with a close friend of mine and uh, Trevor the Bryce and he gave me fantastic advice he said man give that shit back you're just gonna get in trouble it's just it's just bad so anyway I did I'm done I'm old now I don't need to be doing that shit so anyway I'm not gonna sell weed look at that free pop-tart I'm not gonna sell weed to build this fucking ramp scratch that that bitch will sit just like that for the rest of my life if that's what it takes I, uh, anyway, I need you guys' help I need some plywood need some nails we need surface I don't know. let's throw some parties get some bands out here I don't care whatever it takes to get it done um, let's roll uh, you know I'm ready I am ready and I'm I'm working with an investor to buy 150 acres back there and build a skate camp so uh, anyway there's a lot there's a lot more going on than what it looks like anyway i'm asking for help i don't know what else to do kind of stuck so anyway um if you can donate stuff for raffles if you have a company help please help gator skin has already taken 3500 dollars off the bill for this ramp um so i need about 7900 for that alone um just to surface it and then, uh, you know, we need another th about three grand in framing and plywood. But anyway, I got some money coming up. I got about three grand coming in that, that uh, I can throw towards it. And uh, that's it. Living in a trailer. Building a vert ramp. Trying to, anyway. Um, I don't know what else to do, guys, besides reach out. It's, it's embarrassing to me, but if this is what I got to do... To make this happen then uh you know you can't do everything by yourself sometimes even if your last name is morgan so anyway i am reaching out to so yeah i'm i'm reaching out to people like this tony thank you so much for your backup man Dan, everybody over at Juice, thank you so much for, for shooting out stickers and some shirts and whatnot for my birthday parties, man. That was rad. We've been able to get lights and stuff up with all that. Tony, it's 404. We already know. Momentum. <clears throat> Soy and the boys over at Vans Grosso. All you guys, dude, thank you for backing us up and sending us some stickers. 
guys over at Real. Yeah, I think I need to peel that off. RT over at Drifter, can't thank you enough. Jeez, man, you've been with us since day one. Um, appreciate all you do, man. Sticking, you know, sticking up for American skateboarding and just being a stand-up cat, keeping your word and making badass skateboards. I put you right there with with, with Paul. Anyway, the boys over at Kona, man, I love you. I miss you. Uh, won't be long now. So anyway, got a lot going on. Man. Hey, our boys over at, at Pal, Bo Crum, and Donnie Griffin, Mike McGill, all you guys, thank you so much for shooting out boards and stickers. And Man, people have helped out. People have already helped, and this is what we've been able to, to get done. And, and if you skated here... If you've been out here, you know it's 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 fucking rad, man. With what our little skate community has done out here for Middleburg. If you go, if you guys know about Middleburg, two two things come to mind: methamphetamine and rednecks. And we have dramatically changed this neighborhood, man. Dramatic. The cops come up right here and they'll hit the they'll hit the lights. Morgan, you guys underage drinking? No sir. You guys smoking weed? No sir. Carry on. They don't fuck with us. It's awesome. The cops come out for my parties. Um, it's a real community. It's really cool, man. But I'm just I'm just stuck now. I'm stuck. A friend got me for 96. Some other friends got me for 54. And I'm just hit, man. I'm just hit. I'll work. You know I'll work. Um, I don't know what else to do. Anyway, reaching out. We need some help, you guys. Anyway, that's what I got going on. Yeah, that's it. That my old lazy cat. This is the mouse catching this cat you ever seen in your life. Look at this wild beast. Vicious. <laughs> she hates my flip flops. <laughs> anyway, out here in the middle, bird, putting it together, y'all. All right. Skateboard Rick, tuning out. <laughs>